Stranger Theory. In today's episode I'll be breaking down the teaser for Volume 2 which came out in the scene after the credits of Episode 7 of Season 4. Before we begin, please subscribe and like to see more information about Stranger Things. Put a bell in the notifications so you never miss my new videos. The amazing Volume 1 of Stranger Things 4 is officially out on Netflix, and fans who have already watched the first 7 episodes got a special surprise at the end. The ultra-intense 7th episode ended with a teaser for the second volume of the new season, which will be released on July 1, 2022. The final half of the season will actually consist of only 2 episodes, but they are both super-sized, totaling about 4 hours straight. There's a lot packed into this 30-second sneak peek, so let's take a look at some of the footage and speculate on what it could all mean for the future of Hawkins and our favorite teams. It is over 11, we hear what appears to be Vecna's voice saying over a shot of blood-soaked baby L. You have freed me. At the same time, we get this familiar shot of Brenner, meaning there's likely more to see involving the sketchy doctor's response to finding L at the center of a massacre. While Vecna slash one is talking, we see Robin, Nancy, and Steve turn around when a clock ominously chimes in the upside down. It seems that now that everyone understands Vecna's origin, the clock has run out on his slasher games, and he might be taking his tyranny to a new level. In one of the most intriguing shots in the teaser, Hopper looks at what appears to be a dusty, museum light display featuring creatures from the upside down. Are these prototypes for something scientists or government officials hope to create? or taxidermic versions of Demogorgon-like creatures that have been taken down by some upside-down expert. Next up, we see Dustin back-to-back -back with a figure I guess is Eddie. The tide rope from the last episode is also in the background, meaning the pair likely leaked into the upside-down from Eddie's trailer. While we don't get a clear answer, we do get a very cool shot of Hopper watching aggressively swirling, seemingly sentient dust move on the other side of some glass. While this at first seems odd, We've actually witnessed some magical dusty stuff twice before. First, when the team captured part of the Mind Flayer that escaped Will Byers in Season 2, and second, when one's body got pretty crumbly when Elle pushed him through to the upside down. Next, the return of the action hero Hopper. Covered in dirt and mud and inexplicably dressed in a Hulk Hogan t-shirt, he seems to be running full throttle down the hallway with a gun in his hand. All this footage of what appears to be Russia makes me think that Hopper will not be able to return to the Hawkins this season. Now, back to Hawkins, where Max seems to be looking for an exit and only finding boarded up windows. These boards look a lot like the ones Chrissy runs into when she faces off with Vecna seconds before her death. They're also visible in the shot above, meaning Max might be right by Steve as he fights to free Robin. Finally, we get one of those great image matches that Stranger Things employs so deftly. This time, it's a shot of Eleven raising her hand to use her powers match to a shot of Vecna doing the same. This is a great play on the season long, is Eleven a killer? Arc, but we already know the answer to that, Vecna's the baddie, not Al, unless you count assault with a roller skate a felony offense, which... Maybe it is. While Vecna is shrouded in darkness, we see Elle's face clearly, and she looks like she's focusing hard on finding some internal calm. I'd wager this is what she looks like right before her powers come rushing back, stronger than ever. That's been all the Stranger Things news so far. If you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Good luck everyone.